Hello guys and welcome back. In this video we are going to learn how to deal damage to enemies. Let's begin. If you've seen my last videos you should be familiar with this scene. We have this orc which is our player that we can move around and the enemy cyclops who is waiting for us to damage him. First thing we have to do is set up an animation for the attack. Let's go to the animator window, select create state and in the inspector let's select an animation. I already have the animation from this asset pack but you can use whatever animation you want. Let's make a transition from any state to the attack state and this transition is going to occur via trigger. So let's create a parameter of type trigger and call it attack. Press on the transition arrow and assign the trigger in the condition section. And now of course after we attack we want to go back to our moving state. Next step is to create a new script that is going to handle the attack animation. Select your player, add a new script and let's call it attack. Inside here we only need a reference to the animator. Make sure to grab the reference in the start function and now in the update function when we press let's say the space key we are going to set the attack trigger to true. So the player is going to play the attack animation. Just type anim.setTrigger and in the parentheses between quotation marks write the trigger name. It is case sensitive so make sure that the trigger is written the same way as in the animator. Let's save and go back. Now if you press space you can see our attack animation is played. Let's move on to the damage part. First I am going to create a simple enemy health script. Call it health system. Open it up. And here we need a serialized field private float health and a take damage function that is going to take a float damage as a parameter. So basically, when our hammer will collide with the enemy, we are going to call this function and pass in the hammer damage. Inside the body, just subtract the damage from the health and debug.log the health so we can visualize if it's working. Now let's go to the player and find his weapon. Open every body part until you find it. This is it, the mall. Let's add a collider to it and make some adjustments so it fits the part that is going to deal damage. Also, make sure to set it to ease trigger. Now let's create a script for the mall as well. I'm going to call it deal damage and here we need a float damage variable and an on trigger enter function. If the object that this is colliding with has the tag enemy, we are going to get a reference to his health system component. So health system enemy equals other, so the object that we are colliding with, dot get component health system. Now we can call the enemy dot take damage function and pass in our damage. Save and go back to Unity. Let's set the damage for this mall to be 10 and in the enemy game object let's set the health to 100 and also make sure to create and assign an enemy tag to it. Also for two objects to detect the trigger collision, so in this case the mall and the enemy, both objects need a collider, at least one should be set to each trigger but we already have this set on our mall and at least one of the objects must have a rigid body component, so let's add this one on the enemy and set it to each kinematic and uncheck use gravity. Awesome. Let's test it out. You can see that we are indeed dealing damage to him, but not because of the attack, only because of the collision. So even if I didn't attack and just walked towards him, he's going to take damage and we do not want that. To solve this problem, we are going to use animation events, so we can enable and disable the collider when we want to. The collider is going to be disabled by default. Now let's take a look at the animation. So he starts swinging at around frame 10, so here we want to add an event. To enable the collider and at frame 13 he finishes the swing so here we can add another event that is going to disable the collider. Let's head back to the attack script so we can make the final adjustments. We can make a serialized field collider variable called weapon collider and create two public functions public void enable weapon collider and disable weapon collider. In the first one we are just going to set the weapon collider that enabled equals true and down here the same thing but equals to false. Now in Unity, let's assign the mall collider into the slot and the last thing is to set the events. So go into the animation tab again, click on the first event and here we are going to assign the enable weapon collider method and in the second event the disable weapon collider method. And that should be it. Let's press play and see what happens. As you can see, now the attack behaves exactly as we want. And if I don't attack and just bump into him, you can see he doesn't take any damage. Okay, great. If you have any more questions or feedback or video ideas that you would like to see, please let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and until next time, peace.